getting a light plane car hybrid off the ground seems to be an arduous process. The TFX, from flying car company Terrafugia, was announced more than two years ago but will be in development for some years to come. If your interest needed a peek, though, the company is something new to offer, an updated exterior design of the TFX aka an outer mold line. In addition, bus-based Terrafugia said Monday, the new design for the TFX will be tested as a one-tenth scale model in a wind tunnel. The model is currently on display at the EAA Air Ventor Aviation Convention in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. The model will be tested at the MIT Wright Brothers Wind Tunnel, the same tunnel that was used to test models of Terrafugia transition. The wind tunnel test model will be used to measure drag, lift and thrust forces while simulating hovering flight, transitioning to forward flight and full forward flight, Terrafugia said in a statement. The TFS will be the successor to the company's transition aircraft, which was blown at EAA Air Ventura in 2013. The company, founded in 2006 by MIT Aeronautics and management graduates in Auburn, Massachusetts, had projected delivery of its first transition units for around $279,000 in 2015 or 2016. However, delivery has been postponed several times and it's still expected to take a couple more years and cost up to $400,000, according to a report on Engadget. The newer flying car will be a hybrid electric vehicle. It will have the capacity to carry for people, fit into a standard single car garage, and be both street legal and easy to fly, taking, on average, around five hours to learn to operate in the skies, the company said. It will also, according to Terrafugia, be able to take off and land vertically with auto landing that approved the sides. In May 2013, Terrafugia said the development of the TFX would take 8 to 12 years. So far, it seems to be sticking to that timeline.